Hello everybody. Welcome to Step Up Lives. Today is a video that we will talk about Odin School uh, Data Science Bootcamp Student Interview. Today we have with us uh, Nidhi and she's uh, passed out from the, the Odin School uh, Bootcamp. And what has happened is that we have made a, another video on the Data Science Bootcamp from Odin School. And we thought that it would be nice that if we can get someone who's actually a pass out from this program so that uh, we can give you the hands-on information from this program. And how are you, Niti? I am great. Thank you so much for asking. Uh, thanks for uh, coming over for the interview so that actually a lot of students actually want to know that how has been your experience so far. And before we allow Niti to actually talk about her experience, I will actually give you a small introduction about this boot camp because uh, because before we get into this, uh, people who are watching right now should be able to understand that what is the kind of program that it is so that if they are wanting to apply, you will find the link in the description. So just let me just scroll through. Uh, actually, Odin School's data science bootcamp has been something which has been a life changer for a lot of people talking about some placements and hiring partners here. Uh, we have the alumni and now you see here Nidhi is also here and we have her on the stream as well. So that's something that um, I mean, we can discuss with her all the topics and uh, especially this outcomes of this bootcamp have helped a lot of students as mentioned on this website. And if you are looking for a career change or an upgrade uh, with data science as the dominant factor, I think that Odin Schools bootcamp will help you definitely. And uh, there are a lot of things on this website and I'm not going to spend too much time on it because you will know more from Nidhi uh, on an immediate basis. Uh, Nidhi, firstly, uh, how did you got, got across to Odin School and uh, Tell us something about your journey, how you have gone ahead and got placed in your data science bootcamp. Definitely. So uh, Odin School is something which I found out through uh, um, an instructor from Odin School itself. Uh, she actually is my friend and she's an instructor too. So that's how I got to know. And initially, I, I come from a non-technical or I would say from a life sciences background which is, I mean, nowhere linked to data science or IT or anything. So uh, initially, I was a little scared that how would I go through data science? Because again, it, it gets uh, coding along and it, it has a lot of programming languages involved in everything. So I was a little scared. But then, as I said, uh, the mentor uh, whom I contacted, she actually uh, said she is also from non-tech background. So she uh, introduced me to it, uh, introduced me to data science. And then I got a fair picture that it does not have a lot of coding involved, though uh, in the higher levels it has. But then initially, uh, when you get into the industry, you don't need a lot of coding. So that is how, again, I got well acquainted with it. And um, I was also surprised with this factor wherein uh, if, if let's suppose you're from non-tech background or from science background, you can still get projects that involve pharma or that is uh, that is involving uh, hospital side because I'm from nutrition background. So, yeah, so that's what uh, interest that what uh, that's what got uh, my interest to data science. Apart from that, again, uh, coming to my journey in Odin School, uh, it was an amazing experience. It's because, again, uh, the mentors are great and the placement support that we get. Uh, we are any which way is coming from different background. I don't I, I, I know that, you know, I will not get placed easily. But still, the support that I got from Odin School was amazing. It's because they're quite supportive. And also, we have uh, this career programs, uh, career uh, change programs, or you can say uh, personality development program, wherein they tell you from the scratch that how to even introduce yourself to the uh, you know, uh, interviewer. So, so, yeah, it has been amazing. Right, cool. So I just also uh, put the web page of that Odin School uh, dashboard about the career services that uh, they give yes. you uh, all. Uh, so let me just come to uh, the next topic that a lot of students want to know that uh, what is the schedule and the programming of Odin School? For example, we saw this uh, interview, we saw the link in the description, we enrolled it. So uh, can you give us how you got into it? Maybe how was there an entrance? Was there an interview process? How did you get selected into the overall uh, scheme of things of Odin School or you were just I mean how you just give us a little bit 
yeah sure so uh, to get into odin school when i joined odin school again uh, we've had a small aptitude test not very difficult again if you prepare a little i think you can get through it but because it's been some time that i joined uh, i think they have changed it a little wherein uh, they have also added some other evaluation factors i think that would not be again difficult because a person who's from a different background is also coming so they they would not ask you anything very difficult so yeah it was easy to get through okay fine so i've also put that on the screen that the recent one uh, talks about uh, you are applying there and there is an evaluation process and then you could also get some scholarships as well and when mm -hmm. you enroll into your complete uh, data science uh, journey uh, completely mm -hmm. okay so nidhi around, i have another yes yes nidhi go ahead you, you get around 15% of scholarship when you if you do well in your uh, in your evaluation test correct so that's also an important point that people should know that uh, this program yes. has uh, a, a, an option where somebody who does well right in their mm -hmm. admission test and they see potential in probably uh, the candidate then they offered the scholarship as well right right okay so coming to the next question about uh, odin school and how is the structuring of the program whether it's a full time program whether it's a boot camp which is like only on weekends only on evening sessions or how does it structured so that because people would like to who are working as well maybe who have just graduated or in their final year or stuff like that would like to know so can you just give us some more information about it sure, sure. uh it's a 6 months program online program again and uh, it is yes on weekends uh, it's because yes uh, people who are working also join in here and students also even i was working when i joined odin school so saturday sunday is what they take classes 6 uh, month uh, sorry 6 hours is a course 6 uh, hours is on saturday and 6 hours is on uh, sunday apart from that uh, after every uh, class or after every session we have these feedback uh, uh you know forms which we fill in which uh, uh, as soon as the class ends we get to tell how did we feel and everything and apart from that in 6 months they also train you on career services is what i mentioned before yeah career services uh, also they also take classes in career services so correct Correct. yeah they have uh, again they teach in that 6 months curriculum uh, what they teach is the data science uh, foundation it means uh, from the scratch they teach you and then uh, they teach you python they teach you sql very important again and they teach right. you the visualization platform uh, tableau and power bi they've introduced it recently i was not having it but then now they've improved it a lot apart from that they go with eda very important in data science again machine learning is what they teach and excel the basics yes they teach so these are the basic ones which which they actually uh, involve or uh, they have introduced in this uh, boot camp program okay excellent i mean you have quite gave, uh, gave us a good detail overview of the topics in the curriculum as well that is also interesting for a lot of people because when they hear all these terms and they see that this is something which is very much very much relevant they would also like to enroll to the program so let's come to the next aspect uh, of this boot camp which i had a question about is about the how is the how are the mentors actually because um, uh, are they helpful enough or maybe they are they experienced or they are young or how is it like the feel of the mentors at odin school because a lot of students are a little bit uh, a little scared again going back to college is that the now structure mm -hmm. again or yeah. how is it like is it so comfortable is it like the real mentor mentee relationship or it's like a little gap how did you experience it? right so honestly uh, i have around 3 to 4 years of experience and uh, studying again was a challenge for me but then uh, again because of those mentors uh, who actually have helped me that's the reason why i could study properly i mean uh, definitely it's it's on you when you take up a course it's because when uh, mentors or teachers or instructors teach you it does not end there Uh, it comes to you and when you work hard only then you get it but then apart from that they are experienced yes uh, quite experienced and apart from that uh, a lot of them actually uh, have experience in the industry level also so yes uh, the teachers really well and uh, the screen that you're seeing uh, they are also some uh, people who actually some of them though they don't uh, teach you regularly but then they take webinars it's because again 
uh, sometimes you don't get to know what industry is uh, when a teacher is teaching you or instructor is teaching you full time instructor right you get right. to know about the industry you get to know about the company only when someone from the company is talking to you so yes Correct. we have webinars and we can uh, ask a lot of questions to them and uh, i mean they answer everything even the small things and the large things they they answer every single thing so yeah it's quite comfortable and the instructors also help us with uh, the interview questions if let's suppose uh, we go for an interview and we face trouble giving some answers or probably we fail in that interview still uh, they get in contact with us we have this platform wherein we can post questions and they get back to us and it's quite convenient again to reach out to them is what i felt correct so uh, let's come to one of the most important questions actually uh, everybody has on their minds regarding the placements and uh, i mean uh, uh, i i'm sure there a lot of people are inquisitive to know maybe what is the salary at which you got placed probably which company you got placed i mean with whatever i mean you can reveal us uh, so that our uh, audience can actually get a perspective on maybe some kind of close reality to what is the expectation that they should have from the placements and how was your journey of placements where you got placed and maybe if you could indicate something about your salary package <laughs> sure definitely uh, actually i got placed in this company called tronfix and uh, as a software engineer Right. So, software engineer, uh, it's under the hood. I would be working as a uh, into data analytics, and it's a great company. Again, they are also uh, teaching me apart from my uh, skills. They are also teaching me new things. So, it's a good company. And about the about my journey of placement, yes, I have given few interviews, and uh, obviously, uh, everyone fails uh, one. I mean, uh, I I also failed a few times. but then uh, it has been good because i got a lot of experience in, in giving interviews in a lot of companies and about my package uh, i can't reveal you the exact same amount but then yes uh, in our company uh, there are few people who also joined along with me and we uh, we joined or we we got the package in the range of around 5 to 7 lakhs is what uh, someone who's new coming from different background is also getting so yeah it's it's quite good for someone who's starting their career correct so um, uh, that that's nice I and mean, thanks you could give some indicators to us because a lot of people would like to also have a realistic expectation considering okay. from where their uh, existing jobs are or maybe when they have some other opportunities as well so that that's nice thanks for uh, giving us that information and uh, uh, i also want to understand i mean uh, do you recall any incidents from your i mean uh, journey so far that you felt that yeah it was a very good decision probably to get to odin school and go through this process of learning and because sometimes people are wanting to just results directly they are not wanting to go through that grind of maybe a six odd months and stuff so what was anything that comes to your mind regarding any incident or anything that you thought made you believe that it was a great decision to go ahead yeah so um, not particularly an incident but the best thing what i felt about odin school is uh, as as i said as i mentioned that uh, they teach you from the scratch so um, i didn't know what python is apart from that snake again <laughs> right but then uh, what i uh, got to know uh, about python after joining the uh, odin school was amazing it's because uh, once i started they they taught me uh, i mean uh, for uh, for someone who's into coding they know that print hello is also it is very very simple but then they taught from there it it was right. it was great again because i was able to understand the classes being uh, someone who's from a completely different background so that was something very nice apart from that um, my uh, i mean uh, what the incidents which you were asking uh, i can tell you that my uh, uh, my resume was being rejected in a lot of uh, you know uh, companies just because i come from nutrition right on right. the basis of one certificate in data science definitely they would not consider my resume but then odin school uh, has continuously uh, you know um, Uh, you know being in touch with me and sending my resume to a different companies even if it was not being selected 
so that was something which actually helped me a lot and i felt really grateful to odin school for that apart uh, and then finally when i got placed i was very happy and i thanked all of them so yeah, i think that would that is the best thing that happened to me right before we take your final uh, recommendation on your experience so far i'll also like to share uh, the the topic regarding the fees of this boot camp because that we haven't spoken yet because a lot of programs are there regarding um, which are pay post placement some of them are up front and some of them do involve an emi as well so uh, i mean if you can see on their website this uh, boot camp has 1000 plus gs and they have no cost emi options as well uh, for 3 to 6 months and 12 months uh, are also there and they also i think have a 10 day refund period what they have mentioned if yeah. for example you join in and probably if you don't uh, are not comfortable with the complete setup you can do it so my recommendation would be that uh, you should can definitely check the link in the description uh, probably reach out to those guys have a discussion with them if you feel really that uh, this program is something for you because uh, what i could see from uh, nidhi's experience so far is that probably it's a kind of a investment in terms of something which can help you in the long run so finally nidhi uh, just for our viewers who are watching maybe who are maybe one or two years experienced or maybe are in the final year what is your view about the overall experience of odin school and would you recommend them to join uh, a data science boot camp at odin school yeah i think uh, definitely i would recommend a lot of people but uh, again uh, as i mentioned that uh, it's not only on the mentors it's not that we just join and it is done no uh, you will have to work hard and uh, once i got placed once i uh, posted it on linkedin a lot of students actually contacted me via linkedin and they have been asking me how is it and uh, how did you uh, i mean what was your experience and everything the one thing that i mention is uh you you will have to work on it it's it's not uh, a piece of cake again even if you come from it no you will have to work hard because again machine learning is not something that is a cake walk so yes you will have to work hard apart from that i think uh, um this data science is is quite in boom right now wherein uh, i i got placed and i just got a package bracket of 5 to 7 lakhs but i think there are a lot of people in our institution itself who got placed above 10 lp as well so right. yes there are good chances wherein you can get placed in a very good company with a very good package provided that you uh, work hard and you do your assignments well because assignments is something they give you assignments every weekend so uh, uh, and they literally ask you next weekend that have you done it and uh, they deduct your marks and everything so on that mentors notice you and if you do well and if they notice you they, they would actually recommend your name to a lot of placements so i think that is very important do your uh, homework better and do your research better is what i would suggest you because again if you do it uh, if you do it properly it is easy and if you don't do it properly again comes difficult so yeah i just wish uh, everyone who wishes to come in data science all the very best and have that interest to study i think that would be it correct thank you so much nidhi for joining in i'm just giving you uh, i mean a word of thanks from my side as well as a lot of students who actually may be watching this video later uh, i'm sure they will post a lot of questions in the comment section i would just request you if you find some time uh, at maybe later on if you could answer them some of them because what happens is that when they hear directly from you uh, it would be a great experience so guys if you have been watching it so far then do like the video and subscribe to the channel as well as put in your questions you have the link in the description for the odin school data science boot camp so that hands on you have been able to witness it and also experience it thank you so much nidhi for joining in and that would be all from thank our you. side thank you so much bye bye thank you bye